In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Albany Sheds 3D Shed Designer which you can use to create a shed or some else just the way you want it. Ok we've got the Albany Sheds website albanysheds.co.uk open here in the Chrome browser. It's fine to also use the 3D Shed Designer on tablets and phones but probably the easiest way is with a computer and mouse so that's what we'll be using here and we'd recommend the Google Chrome browser. Let's click get started and that will open up the 3D Shed Designer in a new tab and you'll see it brings up this map with all the different stores and these are the retailers you can purchase from. So if you have a look to see where your nearest one is and click on them or select them from the drop down list if you already know who your local one is. We're going to pick where we are which is the Albany Sheds factory display and then you can start to choose what type of shed you want to design. Now you can either start from scratch or start with a pre-made package if you can see a design close to what you're looking for. You can still alter the packages as well if you need to make any changes but we're going to start from scratch and I'll just explain the differences between these five options here. So the apex option which has this triangular shaped apex roof is based on our Warwick model but a little bit taller than the standard Warwick to allow you to fit doors in the side if you want to. Then the major apex model which is a bit taller again and made from thicker framing so it's a very strong shed and that means we can offer it in quite large sizes. The pent option with the single pitch roof is based on our Kent model and then the major pent model, again taller, thicker framing and available in larger sizes. Finally the major conversion is like the major apex but whereas the major apex is generally longer than the width of the shed, the major conversion is generally wider than it is long. Ok, so the sizes are just separated out but it's the same specification as the major apex. But let's go with the major apex and I want a 3 meter wide one. So let's filter these down. And let's go with a 4.8 meter long by 3 meter wide. So a nice big heavy duty shed. About 16 feet by 10 feet in old money. So that's loaded up and as we started from scratch this is just a blank canvas and we can toggle dimensions on or off as we wish to check we've got the size we want. If you hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse around you can see all the different sides of your building. So 300 centimeters by 480 centimeters. that's correct. Or we'll use these quick view buttons here, front, back, left and right or the plan view to see it from above but let's switch back to front view and take a look at the different options which are listed down the left hand side or possibly along the top if you're on a tablet or phone. Now the only thing you must add to be able to save a design is a door so you can actually get into the shed and you'll notice it says here door required so if you open up the door options this list will come up and you could add on a double door here and if that's all you want you can just leave it at that and click this green arrow to go and save your design and we've certainly made plenty of sheds like that before so that's perfectly fine but I want to show you a few more options first so let's delete those doors by clicking on them and selecting remove so I think I want to create a part summer house, part shed for this design and I want some summer house double doors in the front so I'm going to look for a type that I like next page and I think I'm going to go for these large pane double doors which we call modern style and you can just drag and drop those onto the building if you don't get the positioning quite right the first time you can just click on the doors and select move and then when you've got them where you want just click and they will stay there. So 
I think I've got those in the center where I want them, but I can go to the plan view to double check. And you can see there it says 89 centimeters that side and 89 centimeters this side. So that's nice and central. If it wasn't quite right, you can also reposition things in plan view by clicking on them and again selecting move but I'm going to stick to having those in the middle. Just to note that the dimensions listed are approximate, so if you do have any critical spacings or requirements, you should discuss those with your retailer before actually placing the order. But you can still save the design so you can easily go back to it. Okay, I'll switch back to front view and add in my windows. So on my list of options here, I can see there's now a one next to the door options to show that we've got one type of door currently selected but I'm now going to open up window options um, lots of different window options here just like with the doors but there is a matching large pane modern style window that I want to use next page so again I'll drag and drop that into place when you add a door or window onto the building, it moves to the front of the list if you're wondering where it went. Right, so I'm going to imagine that this side is going up against the fence. Hopefully not right up against it. We do recommend leaving some room to get down the side, but close enough that it's probably not worth having any windows. So let's put a couple on this left hand side. So we get plenty of lights when we're sitting in there on a nice warm day but as I mentioned I don't just want this to be a summer house I'd like roughly half of it to be a shed or a bit of a workshop perhaps so I want to add in a partitioning wall and to do that I can go to interior options and then it shows it here non 3d interior options partition same width as gable so non 3d what does that mean well, there are some options that aren't visual items you can see on the model, but that you can still select and have with your building, the partition being one of them. Let's go ahead and click Add. Now, as we just mentioned, the partition isn't a visual option, but I think I would just want it slap bang in the middle to give two equally sized sections. You may want a large main summer house area and just a smaller storage shed section that's quite popular at the moment but I would recommend discussing the positioning of the partition with a salesperson who can liaise with us about where best to position it but we can normally get it pretty close to where you want it as we're having a partition we better add in an extra door so we can get into it so I'm going to go back on door options and just add in a standard solid shed door for this part I could go with a slightly wider door or a stable door, but I think just the standard one will be okay. So I can drop that in and we can change the hinging of the door if we wish by clicking on it and selecting reverse. So there will be a join in the panels on the sides of this shed and indeed any side that is over three meters in length will be made from two or more panels. This building would normally be made in two equally sized panels but say if we had wanted the door in the middle, where the join normally is, that would be absolutely fine. And instead it will be made in three sections with a join either side of the door. So I would recommend positioning doors and windows where you want them, but just bear in mind we may need to tweak things a little to allow for manufacturing processes. But we'll notify you of any significant changes we need to make. On our design here we want to partition in the middle of this side anyway so this door will obviously have to be a bit offset though I do want to leave enough room over here to fit in a workbench but first let's add some windows to allow some light in so back to your window options and I could add in some of these small security windows but I want a bit more light than that so I might add in these larger windows or perhaps with an opening window in the middle for some ventilation now I'm going to add in that bench, so back to interior options and drag and drop the bench to where we want it, which is here under the windows. If we didn't want it as long, we could adjust the length by clicking and dragging at the edge, 
but I think we'll leave it at the full width. And I think we're now pretty close. I'd recommend taking a look at all the other options to check if there's anything else you would like to add. So if we run down this list, exterior options, and again, these are all non-3D options, so the model won't actually change, but we've got verandas, which would be at the front here, roof overhang, which would probably be a good idea as that will help to protect the doors at the fronts from some of the weather and does look quite nice as well so I will add that. Extra eaves height so the bottom of the roof aka the eaves would be raised up to give you more height but this one is plenty tall enough as it is as you can see it's roughly two meters eaves height already. Structural options, extra floor joists, which are these lengths of framing underneath the shed. So having more of those would make the floor stronger. Particularly useful if you're storing heavy items in there. Miscellaneous options, we've got various security options here. Bolt hinges for this type of shed style door. So it's harder for anyone to remove it nefariously. Five lever lock, padlock protector, Sold secure, Haspen staple and padlock, all lock upgrades and again just for this type of solid shed door, not these glazed summer house style doors. Toughen glass, the summer house doors and windows come with toughen glass as standard so you don't need to add it for those but if we wanted these windows here to be toughen glass that's an option. Shapes front trim, if you wanted these front faces have a wavy edge that can look corner nice sometimes. Small sections, if you have limited access, like if the building has to go through a doorway, it quite possibly won't go through in the standard size panels, so we might have to make them a bit smaller. But I would really recommend discussing that with a salesperson to make sure it will all fit through. Assembly, if you don't want to have to build it yourself, that option is there. You will need a good level base for it to be built onto, but you can find more information on that on our website. No factory treatments. As standard, the buildings come with an inside and out base coat of water-based treatment, but if you did want it completely untreated, you could select that option. Now, there's something we haven't looked at yet, and that's the roof options. So, as standard, all the sheds come with green mineral felt, and that's fine, it's a good quality felt. But there are a couple of other options here. We've got the shingles, also known as felt tiles. So that's another type of roofing felt, but it gives this tiled effect that can look rather nice. And there's choice of three colors available. But what we're going to go for is shed sheets. And shed sheet is a one piece EPDM rubber sheet. So there are no joins, it's very waterproof and it just lasts a lot longer than the felt. So we'll add that. And that means we won't have to replace that roof covering for a very long time. And just to point out that shed sheet comes with black metal trims to go all the way around the edge of the roof to hold the rubber in place. So as the 3D model shows, it's that type of trim rather than the wooden faces you get with the felt. Finally, you might want to take advantage of the designer to plan what colour you want to paint the building. And we've got a selection of colours you can try out. These are all saddle in colours which we highly recommend as they offer excellent protection and look great as well. They also tend to last a lot longer than some of the cheaper alternatives so you won't have to retreat the building as often. Let's go to siding options and then click on treatments for top coats and you can see there's a big variety to choose from and it comes down to personal preference so have a play around with the different colours. I quite like this one, Slate, so I'll select that. Now you can either have one colour throughout or a two-tone scheme and you can add a second colour with the trim options which I'll click on and go for Asteroid. If I change the roofing type back to the shingles you'll see that more clearly with the wooden fascias. So how you do a two-tone colour scheme is up to you. You may want to just do the fascias and corner trims as shown here 
where you could even do the doors and windows contrasting as well and that can look quite effective but here I'm just going to go for the one colour so I will change the trim to slate as well and go back to the shed sheets roof if you order the building with saddling colour selected we will provide the appropriate amount of tins to give it two coats for you to apply yourself Alright, I think we've covered just about everything and I'm happy with the design we've made. The only thing left to do is click this arrow and then save our design. So enter your name, Albany Shirts, email, and then hit save shed design. And that will now save your design and send you an email with a link so you can access it without having to do it all again. Then on the next screen it will show you a summary of what you created and there is an additional option you can select of reduce height for planning. If your building is above 2.5 meters in height then we can reduce it down slightly. Feel free to contact us or your retailer if you have any questions about that or anything else. But if you want to go ahead and get your building ordered you can click order now and then follow the steps on screen. Hopefully this video has been helpful and you are now well equipped to start making your own designs. Thanks for watching.